Welcome to the Computer Science and Engineering Division of EECS, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. We are so excited you decided to declare with us. The fast rate of innovation in computer technologies has created many new and exciting opportunities for students with undergraduate degrees in our division. We look forward to working with you as you pursue a major in our division, and we hope this video serves as a good primer for what to expect. This video will review course planning tools, your program requirements, and several campus resources to support your success in our program. There are also many people in the CSE UAO, or Undergraduate Advising Office, here to help. This includes both staff advisors available for scheduled advising appointments and virtual drop-in advising, as well as dedicated administrative staff. You'll be hearing from some of our advisors in this video, and we're located at 2808 Feister Building if you want to stop by and say hi to our team. Let's get started with course planning tools. Please take a moment to open and bookmark the links provided in the video description below. The LSA course guide, engineering bulletin, and atlas will all be helpful to reference regularly as you plan your courses each semester. The eeks.io, that's E-E-C-S dot I-O, CSE course info page is also a great link to bookmark for whenever you're planning out courses for your major requirements. It houses our special topics course sheet, workload surveys, ULCS and MDE slash capstone info sheet, our course lists, our course websites, and our CSE course sorting tool. The degree audit report is also an important document, which allows students to monitor their individual progress toward graduation. To access your report, log into Wolverine Access and select Student Business to find the Student Center tile. Next, click on My Academics and then View My Advisement Report to generate an updated version of your degree audit report, also called your DAR. This will allow you to track your progress in each requirement section, which my colleague will review in more detail now. Our office also provides a Google Sheet template for additional tracking of degree completion to aid in course planning. LSA requirements. During this section, we will cover your computer science LSA requirements. This video will share information specific for the computer science major. For questions and information about LSA distribution requirements, policies, and rules, please connect with your LSA advisor, as they will be the most expert in supporting that aspect of your academic progress. Computer Science Admissions Students admitted to the University of Michigan Fall 2023 or later must be selected to study CS through one of the approved selection pathways in order to declare CS LSA. Students who were admitted prior to Fall 2023 are not subject to the CS admissions process and can declare the major upon meeting the declaration requirements described next. Computer Science LSA Requirements The Computer Science LSA major requirements include completing 55 to 56 credits. All major required courses must be taken for a letter grade, and students must receive a C or better to satisfy the major requirements. In order to declare, the following must be completed. The three pre-declaration requirement courses that include one calculus math course, EECS 203 or equivalent, and EECS 280. Students must also achieve a C or better across these pre-declaration courses. Exceptions to this may include transfer credit, which will show up as a T grade, or AP credit. And lastly, your student record should be clear of any academic standing issues. The program's major core requirements include another approved math course, EECS 281, EECS 370, X376, and an approved statistics course. For more information about approved math combinations and statistics course options, please reference page two of the CSLSA program guide or consult an advisor. Students are also required to take an approved capstone course, which is recommended to be taken in one of your final two semesters. In addition to these requirements, CSLSA majors need to complete a minimum of 15 credits of upper level CS technical electives. At least 12 credits must be from the upper level CS list, while the remaining three credits can be from the expanded upper level CS list. As a note, students must be declared in order to enroll in your capstone and upper level CS courses. 
On page 8 of the CSLSA Program Guide, you will find information about CSLSA tracks. The track requirements are fulfilled when pursuing coursework to complete your upper-level CS requirements. Please note that you must complete the entire track for these classes to contribute toward upper-level CS for the major. Pursuing a track is optional, but students may explore this option to craft more experience and knowledge in a specific area of CS. Those interested in this option will want to read through page 8 carefully and follow up with an advisor if any questions arise. We recommend that you consult the approved list of computer science courses prior to registration. Please keep in mind that there are separate lists for the different requirements, upper level CS, expanded upper level CS, and capstone. So be sure to consult the appropriate elective list. Note that your capstone requirement is separate from your upper level CS requirement and cannot double count or be shared with your 15 required upper level CS credits. If you feel like a course has been left off of one of these lists but encompasses similar content and rigor, you are able to submit a petition for an exception to the Computer Science Chief Program Advisor. Students should contact the Chief Program prior to enrolling in a course that is not on the approved list for explicit approval. General Course Planning Recommendations We'd also like to share some general course planning recommendations with you as newly declared CSLSA majors. Due to the rigorous nature of computer science courses, we generally recommend taking no more than two four-credit EECS courses per term. It may be possible to take more depending on your individual circumstances, but be sure to consider the workload for each individual course. We suggest using the Course Atlas and the CSC Course Info webpage to learn more. It is also important to be aware of the new add drop deadlines each term. Remember, you are able to add drop courses as needed throughout the first three weeks of classes. This gives you the opportunity to try out a combination of classes and make any necessary adjustments. If you're interested in studying abroad, you should start thinking about it by the beginning of sophomore year so that you can plan your schedule accordingly. We recommend students connect with CS advisors once a semester to ensure your course sequencing and plans are working toward your academic goals and graduation. And now we will discuss resources to aid your personal and academic success. Michigan's campus offers a variety of resources to support you while pursuing your major. Tutoring is incredibly beneficial in strengthening your understanding of course material, and the CSE division maintains a list of tutoring options for many EECS classes specifically. There are individual appointments, group sessions, and some free options, so you can identify which works best for you. The Engineering Center for Academic Success, or ECAS, alongside being one of our top tutoring recommendations for peer tutoring and group supplemental instruction sessions, also provides a helpful list of academic resources for engineering students to support in a variety of subject areas. The Honor Code outlines the standards of ethical conduct for engineering students at the University of Michigan. Students are responsible for reviewing and understanding the policies established in writing for each course at the beginning of each semester. These can vary significantly, so it's important to consult your instructor if they are unclear. We take the honor code seriously to prevent instances of copied code and plagiarized work. However, we do encourage students to support each other in their education and know that activities such as helping classmates with code debugging issues are common and mere real world industry collaboration. For more information on what constitutes an honor code violation, you may consult the Honor Council. Our office is also here to help should an Honor Council case impact your course timeline. Your health and well being is of the utmost importance and should be your number one priority as a student on campus. The Care Center is the central hub on campus to assist engineering students and our CSLSA students by providing genuine and practical support both inside and outside of the classroom. They can help you navigate many of the mental health support services we have, including but not limited to the following. Michigan Engineering CAPS, the acronym for Counseling and Psychological Services, offers counseling groups for those wishing to explore personal growth and gain awareness to enhance their functioning in personal and academic settings. This is in addition to one-on-one -on -one counseling that CAPS offers regularly to help foster mental and emotional well-being. 
UHS, or University Health Services, also offers wellness coaching, providing a holistic approach that optimizes wellness for student success via a collaborative, non-judgmental partnership with a coach. It is important to note that wellness coaching is not therapy and cannot fill in for traditional therapy offered by CAPS or other campus or community resources. The Care Center also directs to other resources as needed, outside of perhaps CAPS and UHS, so don't hesitate to reach out if you need more support. Our advisors are also happy to connect you to the Care Center or direct to other resources to best meet your needs. Taking a holistic approach to wellness and your undergraduate experience also means connecting with your peers. We encourage you to explore the student groups and teams offered in CSE to get the most out of your experience in and outside of the classroom, as these student-led opportunities often provide social interaction, networking, project work experience, and valuable professional development and connection to industry. Research is another great experience to engage in outside of the classroom. We maintain a web page where students can learn more about undergraduate research opportunities in computer science and engineering online. You can also review the specific CSC Research Areas page. If you click Learn More, you'll find a list of faculty doing research in that area with their research website linked. This is a great way to start contacting faculty to express interest in joining their lab or collaborating on independent research. We also encourage checking out the CSE Labs and Centers page to get involved. In addition to our support and academic resources, CSE is continually striving to build a more inclusive and supportive environment, welcoming people of all identities and backgrounds. These resources to promote inclusion are here to help you find and create a sense of community as you navigate your college experience, including campus offices that support a diverse community, identity-based student organizations, and opportunities for grants, awards, and conference travel supporting inclusive efforts. We also appreciate that one of the chief reasons students achieve an undergraduate degree is to prepare them for their future career path. After you declare your major, you will likely start more intensive planning for your future plans post-graduation. Students can meet with advisors in the Engineering Career Resource Center, or ECRC, for assistance in career development and exploration. You can also attend their career fairs and networking events or access a variety of resources on their website. The Engineering Careers by 1220 portal will be a great asset, for example, in your career planning journey. Thank you for watching CSE's declaration video. Any questions you have can be directed to the CSE Undergraduate Advising Office. And finally, go blue.